In this video, traders, let's look at are funded trader programs a scam? Stay tuned. Hey traders, warm welcome to you. Wow, this is a question that's blasted around and these things have just blown up massively. Um, so let's just define what a funded trader program is. So there's loads of things that have come out now online which basically say, hey, you pay a monthly fee and you can, if you perform in a certain way under certain criteria with certain risk rules, get to certain milestones, normally in PL, there's other rules as well. We'll talk about those in a moment. You can become a funded trader. So in other words, when you pass this, we will give you an account with our money to trade. And these are kind of blown up. You know, there's there's one that came in, and I'm not gonna I'm gonna avoid mentioning names uh, in this video, guys. There are loads out there. But hey, I don't know many of them. I'll talk about how my dealings with one uh, um, in a moment. But I don't recommend any or this and that, the other. So I'm just gonna leave names out there for now, out of the video for now. But there's one that came out, Pioneer in the industry, did this, did that. And the idea was that, um, you know, they could, you could as a trader, pay a monthly fee to do this on a demo, trade on a demo. But if you got to a certain level, then they would fund you, fine. Uh, and you know, let's just, be honest here, guys. The business, there's two things I'm looking at this, and hopefully this will become clear in a moment. There's, the business model of these guys is to make money from the people who don't reach the goals. And that's fine, right? That's fine because not all traders are going to pass the thing, pass the uh, test, let's call it. They're just not. And so they're going to make money from people paying a monthly fee and not getting there, struggling to get there, giving up. That's the model. Once they pass, and they're given a funded trader program, there's still some restrictions. So they're not really, the model is based around revenue from people trying the program. And hey, when they get to a point where there's a few traders who are doing well, they basically say, hey, you've passed, we do a cut, I think it's like 80% to the trader, 80%, 20% split, I think was, was what I got, 80%, 20% split. And they say, there you go, we'll keep 20%, you keep 80%. There's a certain drawdown anyway, risk limit on that, I can't remember what it is, but once you get past that point, you're basically playing with your money anyway. Let's say you make 10 grand, if you withdraw it, you still got the same, whatever it is, five grand risk limit, but if you keep it in there, then that's obviously your money at risk anyway. So. You know, the, from a company perspective, they only have a very limited risk from a brand new trader. Uh, they just have a lot of upside by taking the 20% to 80%. So it's a good model for them. You know, let's, let's, let's just get that clear, guys. The model for them is to get as many people in as possible on the funded trader program, and then they get the upside of some traders who are, who are good because they're quite capped with the risk. It's not like traditional prop firms that um, will say, hey, will give you a re really decent amount of risk and they take a lot of risk and they train you and stuff, that's slightly different. This is you know being able to prove yourself on a demo and then being given a live account with real money with certain caveats. Okay, so that's what a funded trader program is. Now, there's a couple of different viewpoints from this. There are, I think, there's a handful of them that are good. And I think these are these are good tools to use for traders. When it first came out, one of the first ones first came out, the rules seemed quite erroneous. They were quite restrictive. And I got a lot of messages saying, this is hard, it's way impossible, it's impossible to do it. The risks are restrictive. And the rules are normally something like, hey, you can hold a maximum amount of, of contract size. You trade during this time. Um, you've got some, maybe some parameters of, you've got max drawdown per day, max drawdown per week. You get kicked off the program if you kind of break these risk rules. Uh, there are certain things of holding time sometimes, etc. And each, each, each company is different, right? Each company is different, but they've broadly got rules. And if you break the rules, then you have to start again. They'll have to pay a fee, you have to wait till the next month, something like that. So that's, you know, that's how, obviously how they're making their money, be you staying on it and breaking rules and staying on and staying on. Anyway, first came out, it's like, this is really tricky. This is really tricky, really tricky. So I tried it. I was like, okay, I'll try it. And you know what? Obviously I'm an experienced trader guys. Uh, first of all, I looked at it and I was like, this is pretty restrictive. This is not the way I like to trade. I like to trade in a different way. This is this is, this is is reasonably restrictive, but you know what? Uh, let, let's see if I can make it, um, I'll do it. Anyway, ultimately I did it. I passed the, the two steps, got funded, so to speak, did all that and, and got the thing. Now, ultimately being funded isn't, 
you know, it's, it's, it's a great thing for newer trades. Absolutely fine. I think it's really good. I think it's really good. I'll talk about why. But ultimately, you know, for me, it was a case of let me just do it and see what happens and, and see if I can go through the program and so on. So, yeah, well, it, it's tricky. It's not a scam, um, but it's possible. And they do fund you and you do get your profit split. Fine. There are too many restrictions for my taste, as in to do it properly uh, and to keep doing it on the actual, uh, actual funded account. But, hey, that's by the by. Right. So... The, 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 the angle is that people think they're a scam. There are some out there that are gonna be scams. There's new ones on there that are kind of saying this and doing that and I just wouldn't trust them. So I'd stick with the big ones. I think it's a great exercise in discipline because you've got two ways of trading. You trade on a demo, you trade on a live account. Demo, you've got no skin in the game. Very easy just to go, eh, I don't care, I don't care. Live, you can do some damage. This is that sits in the middle somewhere because you've got a goal. The goal is that you get funded trader status and you, who knows where you can take that. You know, there's some people who do, do well on that. It suits them perfectly, their style, their strategy, uh, and they kind of, they, they work well with that, a restriction, and it, it suits them. They're kind of, they're not gonna blow up. They might, there's a, there's a different distinction here because if they make 50K in their account, unless they withdraw it, they still lose 50K. So it's not quite as good as uh, you'd think it is, but hey, from a point of view of, of sticking to rules, I think it's good. I think that you can pay your money, you know how much you're gonna spend each month, or if it's a monthly fee, whatever it is, sometimes they're one-off fees, they've, they've lost them a change now, and you stick to rules, and it helps you become disciplined. It helps you stick to rules, it helps you, because there is a, a small financial impact to not sticking to the rules because you have to reset, that might cost you some money or you have to wait till next month or whatever it is. I think there's, there's, there's a financial impact of breaking the rules, you have to start again. Of course, that's their commercial business model, fine, but from a trading perspective, it's not as damaging as wiping out your account in live and it's more meaningful than just a demo because you're trying to achieve something. So. I, I'm a, a fan of, of them. I know this is controversial because I think most people think, well, they're rubbish. But I think for the right trader in the right period of time in their trading career, they're a good tool to use. They're probably not good if you're already doing well in your trading. They're not, they're not gonna be very useful for you because you're already disciplined uh, and you're probably trading your own style that doesn't match what their risk parameters are, fine. If you're new to your career, you're struggling with discipline, I think we'll have a look at them. Honestly, guys, have a look at them and see. Now, some of them have got some flack recently in the media because they're not being clear, supposedly, about what happens once you're funded. Um, no need to go into depth with that, but just go into, you know, you're a big boy. Go into it with your eyes open and say, hey, what's the deal? What's the contract? Let me see. Is it legitimate? How long has it been going? What are the reviews? What are the testimonies? How much will it cost me? What happens when I'm funded? Blah, 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 blah. Look at it. Look at it with your own eyes. And they will, the good ones will say, hey, this is what happens. Then take it or leave it. You know, that's kind of the situation you're in. You're gonna go, yeah, that's how they're making money. I wanna have a go at it. I wanna use that facility. I'm gonna trade with it. And so, you know, and it helps, can help you become disciplined. So, traders who have passed these uh, virtual prop tests, if you like, and are funded traders, and, you know, they've struggled to do it, and they've finally got through it, and they, you know, they, they get a lot of value from the discipline they've had to do to stick to their rules. And even if they don't continue, even if they don't find that it's useful for them, uh, for whatever reason, or if they draw down too much for the liking and they get kicked out of the program, whatever it is, doing that and getting to that point just adds a confidence brick in the trading. Because they say, I can stick to rules. Look, I went through this program, I did this, I made this, I stuck to the rules, it wasn't lucky, all the parameters, I did what I was told, I passed it, tick got a big tick in the box. That's only a good thing. Now, does it have any longevity after that? Maybe, maybe not. But if you look at it as a discipline exercise and say, hey, I'm gonna to prove to myself I can do it one of these things. I'm gonna prove that I can get through the program and get to the point where I'm funded. And then what happens afterwards happens, you use it or you don't, fine. But I think that there's something to be said there. Now, of course, there are some scams out there, watch out for those. But I think it's a tool that can be used in the right place for a, is, is, is a useful tool. There, there are some scams out there. I think they're useful. That's just my opinion. Others don't agree with me, um, but I think as a discipline exercise, uh, there can be a nice happy, a nice medium middle ground, if you like, a nice happy medium between the live account and the demo. Great question. See you next one. Take care. Bye-bye.